Good morning, Hillians. Let me set today up. Originally, I filmed some stuff about the seagulls and stuff, and you'll see that here in a second. Uh, and crows, oh my. Some people have made comments, and I think that I started it in, you know, saying how about, you know, one day I do a vlog, a day in the life of. So, that's what today is going to be. It's going to be a day in the life of Troy, or Hellmouth. And granted, this is a weekend, so it's not a typical work day, but I just wanted to set up what you're going to see throughout the day, and hopefully I can get it down to like 15 minutes. So, woke up late, got up at 10.30 because I wanted to wake up a lot earlier, but I was up late last night. So, with that said, here it is. Take a look at this. Seas boiling, mountains rising, crows and seagulls living together, mass hysteria. So my neighbor behind me apparently feeds the, the, the crows or the squirrels or something, and then like all these birds just flock to their house, which, Whatever, but it makes me feel like the birds. <sighs> you should see them when they get all riled up. So, first thing, first order of business. I am uh, going over to Keith's to get some scrap metal. Then I'm headed to the shop to uh, get some more scrap metal. Then I'm going to the scrap yard to scrap the metal. So, all this, you have to start out with an awesome cup of coffee. Mm, 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 mm. 32 ounces of white chocolate peppermint mocha, non-fat, yummy yum, yum. Oh, but before I go anywhere, I need gas. Gas and the beast. At $3.46 a gallon. And that's probably as much as I'm gonna make in scrap today. Ah, and yes, the fuel door and cap are on. Yay! Yeah, it's noisy here. Oh my god, who's that? It's Keith. <laughs> Tired Keith. Uh, I just woke up. Oh, and scrap metal. So do me, do me a yay for scrap metal removal. Yay for scrap metal removal. <laughs> now if my brother wasn't an asshole. <laughs> wow. Yeah, because he, he won't give me the tranny. All right, just left Keith's. Time check, 11.44. Just saying. Ah, uh, I was hoping I was going to make it, guys. We're right next to the Air Force Base. And I was hoping it would be like a Wayne's World moment to like get there when the plane's going like right over your head. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're gonna miss it. Ah. At a red light, checking video views and comments. So there's the lawnmowers and stuff that I got from Keith's and arriving at the shop at 12.07. Now, gotta grab this stuff. All right guys, all loaded up. Time check, 12.20. Let's do this thing. Well, they say, uh, Smokey and the Bandit, eastbound down, loaded up and trucking. Right now, I have picked up the beautiful Lori Lee. Say hi. No, whatever. <laughs> uh, time check, 12.30. So, on to the scrapyard now. So, here we are, guys. We're at the scrapyard. I'm not gonna sing anymore. The scrapyard. Okay, I'm done now, really. This is fun. Isn't it? It's like a big dump for stuff that you get money for. And time check, 116.
137. I got my workout for the day, and I'm, I'm glad that she filmed that because I've never filmed myself taking stuff off the truck. Uh, let's see, 1,640 pounds at 10 cents a pound. So I got more than what I put in the truck for gas today. So that's what's important. 145, lunch at Winger's. Mm. 303, making deposit at bank. All right, guys, back home. It is 320. Need to get glass ready and need to get this stuff ready, loaded in the truck for the last trip to storage. And oh my God, what the hell are you doing at my house, dude? And who, who let you in? <coughs> Look, guys, the gang's all here. You let her in. Who let me in? He's yeah. Here. You hmm. kidnapped me. I don't, have, I don't even have my car. I know, huh? You're at my mercy. My very <laughs> unheterosexual... <laughs> fairy key. Fairy key, <laughs> let me in. <laughs> Oh, long story about that. What are you doing? Um, pooping. Why? <laughs> just wondering. Uh-huh. Halloween stuff. So we are uh, just leaving the house. It is 3.53. Just saying, you know, it's my day. It's 3.53. 1,553 hours. <laughs> 20... <Thank you> well. <laughs> I had to add my head. 24 hours past the time it was this time yesterday. Wow, you're so smart. Have to pass a monkey's butt a quarter to its gonads. <laughs> Glass recycling, fun, 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 fun. 4.19 p.m. Lori Lee is paying insurance at Geico. And then we're off to storage. And watching the Bloodshed Brothers vlog while I'm waiting. So, 4.30, at storage, <sighs> and I can't wait till we get like the pro thing, as soon as we have a location, all this stuff is going there so I don't have to pay every month for this space. Mm-hmm. I feel your pain. Oh, look at my noodle. Wow. Look, my Schwartz is as big as yours. <laughs> Let's see if you know how to handle it. Let's see. Huh. Oh yeah, baby. I challenge you to a duel. Cheap <laughs> 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 shot. <laughs> these these will give you a good spanking though. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey, hey. Lay off merchandise. <laughs> hey, it's my merchandise. I almost feel like, uh, what was that thing with uh, Drew Carey, um, whose line is it anyway? Where they have like the props. We've come for your children, Earthling. Wow. Uh, look, I'm an egg getting sliced in one of those slicers. Shh. Oh. <laughs> Give me something else. Give me something else. Oh, I'm one of those inflatable things that they have at like car dealerships. <laughs> those things freak me out, oh man. My gosh. They're so creepy. How do they sell cars with those? No, it's and like those, the they're at like tire places mostly. But the apes too. They, they have the freaking stupid apes, infl inflatable apes. It's like somebody drives by. It's like, oh my gosh, you've got an ape. I want to buy a car. <laughs> I know what the hell's one got to do with the other. Yeah. Cords. Look at these electrical cords. As big as the freaking hot was, uh -huh. it doesn't look like there's anything here. Is that because of the, all the pallets are in your backyard? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, originally I wanted to store the pallets here so they wouldn't get ruined. But... I don't think they'll get ruined. Oh, here you go. Here would be the first item, guys. If anybody wants to buy the jack-o'-lantern, the fake one, let me know. It'll be like the first haunt money to go towards pro. You see this face? Puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Said I didn't see that before. Curtain rod. He hung himself. Yeah. Do you make these things up or what? Um, for, uh, no. Well, that one I did. That one I made up. But I asked the subscribers for suggestions. Suggestions and different sayings. Like um, the Hugh Hefner one was mine. That was Travis's. There's one. Uh, Emily White was a suggestion. Um, 
Edmonton TVs. The Here Lies Pumpkin Ed one was a suggestion. And then this one here was, what was this? I told you I was sick. <laughs> that was also a suggestion. <laughs> a suggestion for my awesome Hellions. You gotta get these, uh... Oh, so here's a question, guys. Some of those made up. Yes. So I'd put one on my car if you can get it made up. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have a nice trip? <laughs> yeah, I tripped on your rods. Wow. <laughs> That's what she said. Um, well, that is what she said. Squirrel. This is Beetlejuice costume. That whole I'm thing? Not, yeah. I'm not sure that I want to do Beetlejuice again this year at West Coast, unless you guys think it would be okay. Does that make sense? I don't want to do the same thing two years in a row, but I would need something else to do, because I'm thinking about it. All right, guys. It's 401. Time check. And I'm going to go drop off. Lovely. And also uh, go out and get my hair cut. I just like did the four S's, shave, shower, and shine. So, but I told you guys I was going to do something for my hair. So I want to see if this works out. If it doesn't work out, then you know you won't see it. If it does work out, you'll see it like right now. Cutting my hair in the microwave. Going to melt it off. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Yay! Wow, will my head stick in there? Ew! I think I need to clean it. Oh yeah, metal. Don't want to put the metal in there. Thank you. Very important safety tip. Don't cross the streams. All right, uh, what do you guys say, two minutes? All right, so here we go. So, what do you guys think? Do you like it? It's autumn sunrise. Just kidding. I'm not sure if that's going to turn out or not. So anyway, um, on with the rest of the day. It is, oh, by the way, uh, 5.53, in case you guys are keeping track. 6.43. Earlier, Keith had called on all of the properties that were listed um, when I did the property video or the vlog a couple weeks ago. One of the numbers, uh, location number one, was disconnected. I don't know how they're going to rent or sell the place if it's disconnected, which is kind of weird. And everybody else, he left a message. One person got back with me, the Happy Days Diner guy. The place is actually for sale for $1.425 million. He also said that it's uh, he, uh, the owner will rent it out at $9 per square foot. Okay, well, I don't know exactly how many square feet it is. So he said that he was gonna email me all the information. So I'm waiting for that to occur. While I'm doing that, I am copying the vlogs and putting those in the archives still. Like I said, this is gonna be a couple day process because I can only fit between five to seven vlogs on one DVR, or excuse me, DVD. <sighs> so with a 200 plus, it's gonna take a while to do that. So I'm gonna multitask with this and listing things on eBay. It's 8.30 now, and I just got through while some of the files were being burned to disk and I was waiting. I went and tore out all the uh, old vegetation from the front planter. I like to keep it in there when it's dead because it looks Halloween-ish, but it needs to be taken down before spring. All the train stuff I've listed on eBay, catalytic converters I've listed on eBay. Through In the same microwave, I just got through cutting my hair in, so I don't know how they're gonna taste. And I put them in for too long. Dos bimburritos. Numbers. It's now 10.37. I've just finished doing this for the night. It's right here. Archiving everything. It takes a while to burn a DVD. This is, I think this is the most uh, I've ever had as far as clips for a vlog. So I'm gonna start editing now. At 10.38, okay? So here we go. You've already seen this. It's already been in the video. And 32 ounces of white chocolate, peppermint, white. Actually, <laughs> that was an outtake. <laughs> and then you do, you go and you edit and split that clip, delete this part right here and pull the clips together and then here and play. A little bit more to make sure I got it. <laughs> I 
Isn't that weird to see? Because you guys have already seen it, but this is like the creative process of what I do every single night. 11.47, still editing. I just got through taking care of the, uh, the whole microwave oven uh, haircut thing right here, so there's still a bit to go. 12.14, done editing everything except for COC and what I'm about ready to do right now, and then there's a little special thing that I'm, I'm doing for uh, Lori Lee at the very end of the vlog and her cat Phoebe uh, for the outro. Right now, I am printing COC. Oh, really quickly guys, 12.23, wrapping up the night, so I'm probably looking about like 1 o'clock. Uh, the Bloodshed Brothers, talk to Habitat for Humanity, I've seen them fund entire haunts before. Give me some time to find it, but I think that I remember reading a thread on haunt form about it, um, and I'll send it when I find it. Awesome, that would be really cool, I will definitely check into that. Ramphtal, Troy, I wanted to take a moment and say thank you for sharing your life and your love of Halloween with us. You're welcome. <laughs> Seems like every day when I get up, the first thing I do is dive for the computer to see if your vlog is in my email. It's great. It's a great way to start my day and works great at getting me motivated to do something Halloweenish each day. Thanks, my friend. And what both you and Keith does makes a big difference in what this hunter does. Thank you very much. Um, also, individual and one group photo of all the Hellmouth crew autographed would be cool, or you guys could do Hellmouth trading cards, pictures of the hunt and crew with stats for each on the back of the cards. Yeah. I'll think about that. Halloweenville. I will definitely give you $10 for DVD and autograph photos of you and Keith. Your vlogs influence, inspire, and keep me coming back every day. Oh, you guys are just too kind. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, he also made a uh, reference to cmtausa.org for a possible charity. So I'll check that out too. Thank you. Emerald Gypsy Heart. A Hellion donation would be cool, or instead of headshots, how about a pic slash poster of the year's theme? Try Big Brother, Big Sisters for one of the charities, and maybe you could get some of your actors from there. Um, good idea. I'm going to take a list of all the charities that you guys have said and start checking on those. So thank you. Nine Cats. Troy, you're so organized with your vids. I try to be. Organization is the key to efficiency and proficiency. So, I try. Dude, you totally spit on me at 12.13. That's so funny. I went back and I looked at it just a few minutes ago, and I started laughing because I did. I spit on all of you guys. Sorry. Matt Allen 222 Steve is going to be jealous of your calendar. Keep rocking the Pro Haunt Vision, Epic 2012. Like the charity idea. Thank you, dude. Ms. Loveseek. Thank you, Troy. I didn't know you said something on here because I haven't been online for a while. Thank you for taking JD and I to the vet hospital and being there for me these past two days. You mean the world to me. Thank you. Love you, baby. Um, FF looks at 40. Also, Troy, you just proved to all of us that you are a person of great character. Your true emotions shine through as you were talking about what had taken place over the last few days. Um, I, I'm genuine, guys. I, I'm not much different on the vlog than I am in person. You know, Stay true to yourself and be kind to others and everything should work out, right? So, uh, Lori Lee... Uh, you know, commented on all of your guys' comments last night. She really appreciates, you know, everything that you guys have said. She said to me that, you know, it's kind of, it touched her because of, you know, these people that she really doesn't know sympathizing with her and giving their condolences and everything. So it means a lot to her. So we're going to close the vlog tonight with a picture of Phoebe and, yeah, and then we'll see what tomorrow brings. Hope you guys enjoyed today. Happy haunting. See you tomorrow.